My friend Paul Kenny tells a great story. He talks about the leader, the CEO, who is worried about going on vacation, about going on holiday, that things will suddenly stop working or the business will grind to a halt when they're away. And the reality is, is often what that leader is most worried about or most scared of is the fact, actually, maybe the opposite is going to happen. Is they're going to go away? And what happens if productivity goes up? What if things start happening? What does that say about their leadership style if... In reality, they aren't as essential to the running of the business as perhaps they thought they were. And the reality is, is that actually, hey, the second one should be true. And that's exactly what you should be wanting as a leader, that your team is so efficient without you that they just get on with the job. They make the right decisions. They make the right choices. They understand when you point them in the right direction and off they go, they do their job. And often symptoms associated with this feeling of not being able to take time away from the business are, are often related to things perhaps, and I'm going to use quite a majority of term here, micromanagement or overly leaning on top of people or watching over people as they do work. And that might be your C-suite, that might be your team, that might be whoever. But spending too much time focusing on what other people are doing often means that you're not spending the right sorts of time thinking about, well, not only what you should be doing, but the sorts of directions you should be setting for people. So if you're using terms like I'm spinning too many plates or I'm juggling too many balls, that again suggests you perhaps obviously got too much going on, which is a is a problem. But are you doing the right things? Are you setting yourself up for success by making the right choices about what you should be working on rather than making sure that everything is happening all the time and putting immense pressure on yourself as a leader to be that person who is making sure that everything is happening all the time. So you end up in that position where you don't take vacation and holiday. You don't rest. You end up burning out. Your team get resentful of the fact that you're always on their back because you have that innate worry inside yourself that perhaps things aren't going to quite work out for you. And then you look at the opposite of that as well. So what happens when you got to that position as a leader and you, you feel great that, you know, you, hey, your team is operating well without you. I was working with a CEO a few weeks ago who had that fear. Well, well, if my team are working really, really well and everything's going in the right direction, then, then what's my purpose? What, what, why am I here? And Constantly asking yourself that question about what well, what is my purpose? Why am I here? What am I working on? What should I be working on? Is really the point of being a CEO is to have those larger meta thoughts and to really prioritize the world that you're in and to think about what am I working on? What should I be working on? Rather than that deep feeling that, hey, I should be productive. I should be busy. You know, that kind of societal pressure that means that we all feel like we should be working 40, 50, 60 hours a week. And if we're not, Somehow we're not serving the greater good or serving society, ourselves, business, whatever. Perhaps we're even lazy. There's so many feelings associated with that feeling of inadequacy about not living up or not doing the things that you should be doing or working all the time or being busy. And actually the reality is, is all that does is free up mind space for you to really be planning on what you should be doing for the future, what your business should be doing for the future. That glorious time that you've got to strategize about the future that many of the CEOs I work with say they haven't got time for. So the reality is, is in creating space for yourself within a business to go on vacation, to go on holiday, noticing what goes wrong, what doesn't go wrong, how the business operates with or without you, allows you to look for those places where you can free up that time to really think towards the future. Where should I be taking this business? What does it mean to be the CEO that I am today? What does my job entail? And answering those bigger questions obviously is going to drive the business in a much better direction rather than being in that position where you're constantly spinning plates, keeping the lights on, keeping things busy, keeping working without really understanding truly why you're doing those sorts of things. So if you find yourself in that position, if you're saying to yourself, oh, I'm spinning plates all the time, I keep dropping the ball, things keep happening, there's lots of stuff reliant on you as a leader. Great. That's obviously a strength because you're pivotal and very important to the business, but that's also probably your biggest weakness because equally you are pivotal to the business. And if you do go away on vacation, maybe things do stop. Maybe that's not how things should be. You should always be as a leader looking for that, the possibility of taking more off your plate from giving all of your responsibility to other people. And we can talk about what responsibility means as a leader. And often what I find with a lot of CEOs that I work with, certainly first time CEOs, is they They conflate responsibility and accountability. They use terms like the buck stops here and thinking that that means that they are responsible for everything getting done. And that's different. Of course, that's accountability. Of course, you're accountable for everything that happens. But that does not mean you're responsible for everything that is happening as, as, as the business runs forward. You're not responsible for doing that work. 
of course, other people, you can pass that accountability on to other people so that they have both accountability and responsibility. 